Yeah, so this is a model center study. It's sponsored by uh, Arginix, the pharmaceutical company. It involves many study sites looking at the efficacy of a subcutaneous form of uh, afroquatigumab combined with uh, pH 20 uh, to study its efficacy and safety in patients with mycenae gravis. Um, the patient enrolled are all have, um, are those having generalized mycenae gravis. Uh, they are mostly um, ACHR antibody positive. Um, the, the medication given is um, a subcutaneous form, a weekly injection at a fixed dose of 1,000 milligram um, per week. Uh, for a total of four cycles compared with placebo. And uh, the patient can have repeated cycles depending on uh, their clinical manifestation. The main findings suggest that this subcutaneous form of afrogatigumab is um, fairly safe. It uh, uh, does have some injection uh, reaction uh, at the injection sites, but mostly are mild to moderate. And with the subsequent, uh, subsequent in injections, um, the uh, risk of uh, injection side reaction becoming uh, much smaller. And uh, it uh, patient receiving it does have some common urinary tract or um, upper respiratory infections, but there are really no uh, significant um, safety concern with this form of afrogatigumab. It is um, fairly effective. Uh, you can see uh, the percentage of patients uh, improve on this formula uh, with clinical meaning for improvement defined by MGADL of uh, improvement of two points above. And uh, we've seen that in about 80% patients. And in approximately about 40% um, patient, patient achieve uh, minimal um, symptomatic expression uh, basically defined as MGADL score of one or less. So it is fairly effective uh, in a significant portion of the patient. Um, the efficacy um, is quite significant and basically lead to um, minimal expression. And also the efficacy is very sustained with uh, uh, you know, repeated uh, uh, cycle of treatment. The efficacy uh, persists. Well, this treatment has been approved uh, by FDA for um, patients with general mycenae gravis who are acetone receptor antibody positive. So that should be the uh, patient population uh, for this kind of treatment. And this is a nice alternative but because this is a subcutaneous form, this is not an intravenous form. Um, the medication um, should still be given um, by a healthcare provider rather than patients themselves. And there will be a you know, short monitoring period after that, but this is much easier for patient uh, than those uh, uh, intravenous uh, formulation. The, um, this particular drug, Afgartigumab, has been studied in cycles. So um, patients get full treatment, and then um, uh, they will remain off the medication f for unknown period of time. Uh, we all know um, um, in treating patients with mycenae gravis, uh, there is often the statement that patient treatment should be individualized. So when the next treatment cycle will be, it truly depends on each patient. Um, it may not have to be four treatment cycles. You know, and some people may just one or two, uh, uh, two treatments each cycle might be good enough. Some patients may just receive one cycle and efficacy may last much longer. Those are the questions we don't know and hopefully we can answer in the future. And also the study have some additional information, I believe, um, regarding the reduction of other uh, immunotherapies. And we did not present this data. It will be very interesting to see how uh, the use of efrotokinumab affect the use of other medication. Hopefully it will reduce other medications significantly.